A trawler from Nakaminato Port at Hitachinaka City in the prefecture went out to catch plates and anglerfish as test samples on Thursday. The daily checks come in the wake of the detection of radioactive cesium above the legal limit in small fish called sand lances. The fish were caught Monday in seas off northern Ibaraki Prefecture, which is closer to the nuclear plant. Excessive radiation has not been found in other fish so far, but all fishing off the Ibaraki coast has been suspended because brokers and retailers are refusing to buy fish from that area. But now, with plants and ports damaged, foreign industries are facing crippling parts shortages. Douglas Levanture sends this report from Louisiana. Shreveport is a city of 200,000 in the southern state of Louisiana. General Motors' plant here plays a big role in the regional economy. This GM facility manufactures mid-size pickup trucks. A part shortage from Japan forced this facility to shut down for one week. At this plant, almost all automotive parts are made in the U.S. However, one part is Japanese-made, produced in an area affected by the earthquake. The plant's entire operation has come to a standstill because that one part is no longer arriving from Japan. This is the part a sensor to measure air volume in engine cylinders. Without it, the engine can't achieve sufficient combustion. U.S. makers buying raw materials from Japan are also worried about the impact of the quake. This automotive parts maker has its head office near Detroit, Michigan. The company produces springs for engine valves and supplies them to GM, Ford, and a number of other automakers. Uh, you know, they're making, you know, 6,000 springs an hour. 6,000? Per hour. The springs work at high speed inside engines, so strength and precision is vital. That's why the company uses high-quality Japanese steel. The steel supplier is based in the Kansai region, so its production hasn't been affected. But the spring maker's management is still concerned that damage to ports in Tohoku may disrupt distribution. Ports, transportation, and, and whatnot are very hindered. Um, we haven't felt a shortage yet because of the pipeline of material, but we expect there may be shortages as we head into the spring and summer. Uh, the engine part produced in Ibaraki that we showed in our report is said to enjoy a global market share of over 60 percent. As the economy goes global, parts are increasingly procured across national boundaries. Production halts in one country, for example, could have an immediate impact in other countries. The U.S. parts maker in our report is contacting the Japanese steel supplier every day to confirm its production status. If the maker fails to deliver parts to its clients by the promised date, it would constitute a breach of contract. Japan's crisis is making U.S. executives very jittery. The National Police Agency said on Thursday night that more than 12,600 people have been confirmed dead and that nearly 15,000 are still listed as missing. About 82 percent of the recovered bodies have been identified and are being handed over to the victims' families. The number of victims is expected to rise because some coastal areas devastated by the tsunami are still unable to determine exactly how many people remain missing. A lot of uh, things are temporarily installed and a lot of things are working on makeshift systems. There could be cracks and leaks. Um, there were some that were identified and there could be new ones uh, that were that were caused by last night's uh, earth aftershock. So at this point in time, it may appear okay, but uh, we might find some new issues as time goes by. So we need to really keep a close eye on the developments, and we also need to be a ready to act immediately, um, not just TEPCO, but the Self-Defense Forces.
the police. There could be disruption, disruption in water supply or power supply. We need to be ready to address any possible glitches, particularly in the first few days. And other than this nuclear power plant, uh, other nuclear facilities were affected by the um, quake last night. What's happening there? Well, similarly to the uh, nuclear power plant in Fukushima Daiichi, we obviously need to be prepared for the possibility of strong aftershocks. Last night, Higashidori nuclear power plant, they lost off-site power at one point in time, and then um, one transmission line became live again, but uh, they did have to resort to emergency diesel power at one point in time. And close to Higashidori nuclear power plant is a reprocessing plant um, that's located in Dokkashomura. Uh, 